What's up everybody, my name is Lehua and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcast Cross Worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today we are reviewing some of Spider Silhouette episode 19 and if you like anime reviews, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you want to help support the channel, we got channel membership and Patreon, links to those are in the description. In this video, we are reviewing Soma Spider So What episode 19. Most of this episode is about the reincarnators. Jun and his party have arrived in the elf village. Oka Sensei brought them through a teleportation circle and they arrived. You know what? Artemis is still alive. A couple episodes ago, Sophia the vampire, she cut off his head. But you know what? We arrived in the elf village and who do we see? Potamus! It's like, oh, you're still alive! And someone in the comments from my reaction video pointed something out. He couldn't have died because he's one of the big three. And the big three are Potamus, Dustin, and Ariel. And you know what happens when there's a big three like that? There's a showdown, a face-off, and we have not seen that yet. And we guaranteed we're going to see that. And Potamus cannot be dead for that. He has to be alive. Now, I'm thinking Potamus has a clone. Like, he made up clones just in case he gets assassinated or killed off at places. Or it could be that the one we see in Elf Village is a clone that an enemy made to infiltrate in the Elf Village and sabotage. Not too sure, but I know we're going to find out. In the Elf Village, there is the Reincarnator's Supplement. You remember, like in the beginning of the season, Oka Sensei was saying that she has been collecting the reincarnators, bringing them to the elf village. And apparently, there is a settlement for them. They have their whole section, but they are totally separate from the elf village. In the episode, they had to walk across from the elf village. And according to Oka Sensei, it takes about a day to go through the whole village. So it took them a whole day to get to the human home not human, reincarnator's settlement. Once they reached the reincarnator settlement, Oka-sensei did not have a good welcoming. It seems they don't like her, and I'm not surprised because Otimus, do you remember in the last episode, he was talking about kidnapping kids or getting the reincarnators, and Dustin from the Followers of the Word was saying that Potamus was kidnapping children. And in that review, I was saying that Potamus was trying to kill them off, all right, I was wrong. He wasn't trying to kill them off. And even the people in the comments were saying, like, he didn't kill them. He wasn't trying to get rid of them. I'm like, all right, I was proven wrong. He did not kill them. He did not get rid of them. He was just collecting them and putting them in that reincarnator settlement in the elf village. Okay, so he collected them. Why? Why is he collecting them? Then Oka Sensei referred to them as comrades. This was when they were talking about preparing for Hugo and the church that are about to invade the elf village. The Oka sense said, oh, let's meet your comrades. So I'm thinking, Anamis is using them as soldiers. He's going to use them as weapons or something like that because Administrator D did give them infinity stats, right? Infinity, like, growth or whatnot like that. So they, their skills can grow, their stats can grow, etc., etc. I'm thinking Potamus was planning to use them for that, use them for fighting or whatnot, because he's got two other factions to fight against, and there's that fourth one, the one that was manipulating the hero and the demon lord, we got that one. Okay, Potamus, what's your big plan? What, where are you going with this? And then that made me think, okay, how did Potamus know about the reincarnators? And it was Oka Sensei, his own daughter. He must have learned about the reincarnators through her, and he saw firsthand how powerful they can get. So I'm thinking, Oka Sensei, what's been going on with you and your dad? Like, you've been with him the whole time, and you probably believe in what he's doing, while the other reincarnators, your students, they resent him. They're like, they think he's a jerk. So it's like, okay, if they think he's a jerk and they're pretty much strangers you who is his daughter you must have gone through a lot more stuff because he could take advantage of you he you would let him do stuff like experiments and whatnot i i'm very curious 
I'm wondering if we're going to have an episode for Okasensei. I'm just saying, let me know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments if you got some theories, if you got some things you want to confirm, if you guys got some spoilers. There are some people who have spoilers. If you want to put them in the comments, you can just put like star, 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 spoilers and capitalization, star, 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 and put the subject. Then go six spaces down and type all you want. In this episode, I also noticed that they were talking about preparing for battle, preparing for when Hugo and his army invade the elf village. And then we also flash back to 15 years ago with Ponymus in the village where Sophia is. And in that village, Sophia's dad was talking about a kingdom that's, that wants to confiscate Moko. And I'm like thinking, okay, I wonder if the Oath Empire Kingdom is trying to find an excuse to invade that area. And then there's Ponymus involved. And then Ariel might get involved because she's going after Komoko. And Komoko's kind of in that area. So I'm wondering if three different factions are going to fight in that one area. And I'm thinking, okay, when is that going to happen? Something must have happened. I'm thinking something bad. People died. And I'm wondering if they're going to show that coinciding in 15 years later, present time, with Shun and his people fighting with Hugo and his army. I'm wondering if in this season or sometime in the future, in an episode, they're going to show two different battles in two different timelines. And that's my review of Soma Spider So What episode 19. What do you think about that episode? What do you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there is a Discord. Discord link is available in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash Supervina. People who watch these videos do like to stop by the stream to talk about the episodes, the anime, the videos, have that one-on-one -on -one real time conversation. You guys are more than welcome. I play Final Fantasy 14. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things we're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, links to the podcast is available in the description. We are available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lehua and this is Baby Izeo reviewing Soma Spider So What episode 19. Hope you guys like this video and I will see you on the next one. Later! Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there and I will see you on the next video. This bump.